Good morning, Zio here, and today we're talking about Sony and um, their allegedly stealing of a game. So when I say Sony stole a game, or stole the idea, or stole whatever, in this entire video, allegedly is in front of it, even if I don't say it, just to cover myself, because you, you, you never know how these things will play out. But uh, let's get into it, shall we? And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should go ahead and do so now. But yeah, apparently Aeon Must Die seems to be somewhat stolen, it, it would seem now. It is allegedly, and to be totally honest, in my personal opinion, I wouldn't put it past Sony to do such a thing, just saying. Um, so yeah, but allegedly they have stolen a game. But uh, we've, we've got a tweet here and a few other things to go through. But uh, all Aeon Must Die devs apparently quit the studio this week due to crunch and a lack of payment, and a trailer was outsourced to artists without contracts. Wow. Okay, so yesterday we talked about Blizzard and paying competitive wages and things like that, and this is another issue too, where apparently people don't get paid, ask to get paid, and then don't get paid, and all this other stuff. And we've also maybe have spoken about it in something else or whatnot, but if you don't get paid and then don't speak up, that's kind of on you. But, you know, we don't know those answers to this, so I can't really speculate on stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, apparently there's this new trailer floating about, or a second trailer floating about, and this is down below the trailer. But the trailer was created with abuse, manipulation, theft. Find out the truth about the development of this game with the Dropbox links, which is also in the description of this, as well as the trailers and everything else that we're looking at. People who've worked on every shot of this are no longer with the company holding IP rights. Some were not even paid for their work. This trailer has a pending conflict of IP. The real IP for this game was stolen from the creators via foul play. Final reaction of the publisher to this information remains to be seen. But uh, then we have a, a second one here. I've received the same data set over the last few days and from a quick check with folks involved it seems legit, which would be really shitty thing. Um, I don't have all the answers or details, and I hope journalists will dig into this properly, but uh, if we know gaming journalists, there's only a couple out there who might actually dig into this, like uh, Jason Schreier or, uh, um, let's see, I can't think of anybody else at this particular moment, but there's a few who will actually go out. So this is the actual trailer, right? This is what, you know, what dropped, and uh, this is the trailer that was shown off. This one here, in the description down below, is the Aeon Must Die original version, Truth in the Description, which has the information we just read, which apparently I, I minimized by accident. But yeah, this, this, is, this is the second trailer that has been uploaded by uh, uh, another account. Let's see. The first one, of course, is on the PlayStation account. And this, this is our Dropbox, right? Whew, this is a lot of stuff, and I am still going through it, so I don't know if I'm going to make this video followed by a second video or how I plan to do that, but I do plan to do something with this. But I, I am going to sort of go through this and maybe pick out or find some very interesting things and maybe share it. See, this way, if you don't want to go look through and digging through all this, you ain't got to. But uh, there's a whole thing here. I'd register... Uh, resignation team leaving aftermath history um letter uh to the main which of course are not in english which is another issue i i have to do some translating it would seem with some of this stuff uh, <laughs> because of course it isn't but uh yeah apparently playstation has state of play premiere game was stolen developers allege and of course there's an article going across if you want to go take a look at that but uh, Focused Home Entertainment, of course, released 
a uh, statement. Focus Home Entertainment has always praised and supported all our partner studios and the developers who uh, compose the creative teams. We provide or we pride ourselves on treating our own employees and third-party developers fairly and respectfully, and this will not change. Focus Home Entertainment was informed of serious allegations, and I keep trying to hiccup, I am so sorry, <laughs> uh, raised by some of the developers at Limestone who have worked on the creation of this video game, or of the video game Aeon Must Die. These grievances are directed at Limestone, their direct employer. As the publisher of this video game, Focus is carefully looking into these allegations, and we draw the necessary conclusion if there are proved to be well-founded and then take appropriate measures. No further comment will be shared until we have a clear and complete view on this matter. So who is Focus Entertainment if you couldn't figure it out out of that? They're the ones publishing the game, right? The developers are Limestone, um, which, you know, uh, that's, that's the people we're, we're really talking about to right now or talking about is what limestone has done not the actual um uh gosh wow i cannot think today i am so sorry <laughs> the publisher there we go and then of course sony showed it off um you know which what probably caused all this to come to light is when they they didn't realize that another trailer was going to be used and all this other stuff and people quit and it's it's a mess but there is more to it than just this because there seems to be something shady going on on all fronts. Over here we have Frog Wars. Uh, Frog Wars is another uh, small or another ugh, another developer, uh, another developing company that handles uh, uh, Sherlock Holmes and and games of that fashion. I can't think of what they're called. Wow. Anyway, but they also dropped this information here. Hello. This letter is an ad is addressed to anyone who is interested in the video game industry and wants to take a look at what's happening behind the curtain. We are Frogwares, the developers of Sherlock Holmes video games in the Sinking City. We make detect er, detective games, but it's our passion and because it allows us to live off of it. But today, that is under threat. Some of our games are being removed from Sony and Microsoft storefronts and even maybe from Steam. This list includes our titles like Sherlock Holmes Crime and Punishment, uh, The Testament of Sherlock Holmes, uh, Sherlock Holmes vs. Jack the Ripper, uh, and uh, Marigunner, Margunner, wow, I can't say that one, Dark Pulse, see full list can't see the full list anyway <laughs> um why because fo uh, because focus home interactive the licensee or publisher that was in charge of uh commercializing these games of these platform on these platforms refused to transfer the title ids to us the creators and ip owners of these titles even though our publishers and distribution agreement uh has ended because according to their agreement, agreement, <laughs> that that happens a lot. Anyway, uh, because according to the official statement sent to us only last week, Focus has put in a policy or a, in place a policy in accordance with which they do not transfer the title, the content ID or title belonging to any developer, which has removed all of their games from the Focus catalog. A policy that is not in any of our previous or existing contracts with Focus and that have been applied to us in the past. Because of this policy, our games will be taken down from all storefronts. As it stands right now, the only games left is Sherlock Holmes Crime and Punishment, which only has until September 29th. It is possible that it will be taken down at the date of or earlier if nothing is done. The players will no longer be able to buy and play the game. We will also lose all our wish lists on the store pages um, as the creator and IP owners of all these games. We have no control um, and no say in this. The decision of Focus Home left us voiceless. We are now in the process of setting up a new store profile and we are contacting console stores and hopefully try to rectify the situation. However, we are unable to confirm if this can be done 
and already know that it will be impossible for certain games on previous gens and very costly for others as we will have to update the SDK and that takes months. We are currently not going to give up and we are pursuing this issue though the yeah, through the appropriate channels like gosh I need a drink. <laughs> we have always been an independent studio. We worked with many licenses on the ground on of mutual interest and benefits, but in the first time in 20 years we have encountered this situation, such a situation, we are losing revenue attached to these games, some of unknown period of time for other games forever. Anyway, so um, yeah, that seems to be the thing. There's something shady going on, it looks like with Focus, um, possibly being the epicenter of all this, not really sure. Um, definitely something shady going on in the industry between these publishers, developers, Sony, and a few other places that needs to be taken a look at. But let me know what your thoughts on all this down in the comments below, and I will talk to you later. See ya! Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And of course, there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that, uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.